Please be seated. Welcome to this day of celebration. It's great to have all of you here to witness the union of Erica and Christopher as wife and husband before God. Together we will share in the joys of their wedding, both with the outward celebration of this occasion and with an internal appreciation for the love that surrounds us. Some of us have had the privilege of witnessing the blossoming of this love, a love that keeps on deepening. This love has been inspiring and joyous to watch. May you all remember and cherish this day, a day we celebrate love. Erica and Christopher are grateful that you are all here on their special day and acknowledge and honor those who are here in spirit. We have asked Erica's cousin Kaylee to light a candle in honor of those who are watching from heaven. Thank you, Kaylee. The mic is on? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> now it is. <laughs> that car is beautiful. <laughs> really great. And now our dear friend and cousin Jennifer will read a beautiful poem, The Key to Love. The Key to Love. The key to love is understanding, the ability to comprehend not only the spoken word, but those unspoken gestures, the little things that say so much by themselves. The key to love is forgiveness, to accept each other's faults and pardon mistakes, without forgetting, but with remembering what you learned from them. The key to love is sharing, facing your good fortune as well as the bad together, both conquering problems, forever searching for ways to intensify your happiness. The key to love is giving, without thought of return, but with the hope of just a simple smile and by giving in but never giving up. The key to love is respect, realizing that you are two separate people with different ideas, that you don't belong to each other, that you belong with each other and share a mutual bond. The key to love is inside us all. It takes time and patience to unlock all the ingredients that you will, that will take you to its threshold. It is a continual learning process that demands a lot of work, but the rewards are more than worth the effort. And that is the key to love. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. That was a beautiful poem. It is our hope that you all remember and cherish this ceremony, for on this day, with love, we will forever bind Erica and Christopher together. Marriage is more than a simple exchanging of rings or combining of material assets. Rather, it is an indescribably powerful shared commitment. While today I will legally bind you together, the truly important bonds we form today are largely invisible to the world, existing primarily in the depth of your heart. Marriage is a beautiful gift, and it is a blessing to make these promises with your soulmate. As you hold on to one another, you will find deeper levels of joy, happiness, and peace together. Your marriage is the foundation upon which you will build the rest of your lives, and despite any adversity, will always be there to sustain you. Erica and Christopher, as you stand here today before God, before those gathered here in your honor, and before one another, Remember that marriage will continue to deepen, challenge, and strengthen you and your relationship in ways that you never thought possible. The joy you'll find as you pursue your shared lives will fuel you to face head-on the challenges you'll encounter in life. On your journeys together, keep your spouse the highest priority in your heart. Continue your partnership and your devotion. Continue to laugh together and to love together. 
Don't get caught up in worldly things that will draw you apart. Instead, focus on your shared devotion and turn inward. As your relationship strengthens, you will find that you come to share a remarkable love, a love that is both abundantly given and freely accepted. <laughs> and now we proceed with the Declaration of Intent. Erica and Christopher, please join hands. <laughs> Erica, do you take Christopher to be your husband in equal love, as a mirror of your true self, as a partner on your path, to honor and to cherish in sorrow and in joy, in sickness and in health, till death do you part? I do. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Hi, Wyatt. You do too. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Christopher. <laughs> Will you take Erica to be your wife in equal love? as a mirror of your true self, as a partner on your path, to honor and to cherish in sorrow and in joy, in sickness and in health, till death do you part. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, <laughs> and now we have a beautiful candle lighting ceremony. Erica and Christopher, while the words you have spoken have sealed your union, it is the lightning of the unity candle that truly symbolizes the melding of your two souls. Can we please bring the candles forward? <laughs> you hold in your hands a single flame. Allow this flame to represent your life. Every thought that's ever crossed your mind and every word that's ever crossed your lips. All of your victories and all of your failures. All of your joys and all of your sorrows. And now we need to tilt these candles forward to light the center candle. Success. Okay. It's getting there. Oh. It's hot. Okay. Watch as the two flames instantly form one. So two today have your two spirits come together to form one singular entity. Just as your combined flame illuminates the space around it. Let your sacred union radiate with love and light your path as you move forward through life. <laughs> and now we proceed with the exchange of rings. Again. And they're coming forward. Thank you. The wedding ring's circular shape reflects the unending power of love a force with no beginning and no end. As you wear these rings, let them remind you each day of your commitment to love each other unconditionally. Erica, please repeat after me. I, Erica. I, Erica. Give you, Christopher. Give you, Christopher. This ring. This ring. As a symbol of my enduring love. As a symbol of my enduring love. <laughs> as I place it on your finger. 
As I place it on your finger. And she places it on your finger, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of the right finger. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, correct finger, not <laughs> like... <laughs> Dust that throw on the left and right finger. Do I put it all the way over? I've seen that. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger. I promise to walk this path with you. I promise to walk this path with you. I commit my heart and soul to you. I commit my heart and soul to you. I <laughs> promise to cherish you. <laughs> I promise to cherish you. To give you all that I am. To give you all that I am. And accept all that you are. And accept all <laughs> that you are. <laughs> Most, <laughs> Most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On good days. Yeah. <laughs> It? Yes. Oh. It Thank you. <laughs> you can let go of the finger. <laughs> Christopher, please repeat after me. I, Christopher. I, Christopher. <laughs> give you, Erica. Give you, Erica. This ring. This ring. <laughs> as a symbol of my enduring love. As a symbol of my enduring love. As I place it on your finger. As I begin to place it on your finger. <laughs> make you hold your hand for 15 minutes. I promise to walk this path with you. I promise to walk this path with you. I commit my heart and soul to you. Commit my heart and soul to you. I promise to cherish you. Promise to cherish you. To give you all that I am. And to give you all that I am. And accept all that you are. <laughs> That's a tough one. Uh, <laughs> and accept all that you are. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> we have it documented. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> this is great. Family and friends, great. by the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church, and by the state of New Jersey, which is incredible. I am pleased to pronounce Christopher and Erica as husband and wife, sealed together today, both in law and in love. Christopher, you may kiss the bride. 